a YouTube, Facebook, whatnot, all that good stuff. Um, you know that intro. This is Blade Junkie. Let me play um, yeah, so you read the title. Well, I don't know where the heck it is. Then you'll know that this is a video about, uh, well, that thing. So, yeah. Um, for those of you that don't really recognize it, you stink. Not really, I guess, obviously. But, well, hey, maybe you do in real life. I don't know. But I haven't met you. Anyway, um, so yeah. If you haven't seen the vehicle, please check it out on my channel. It's awesome, in my opinion. It's the biggest thing I've ever made so far. So, yeah. Alright. Anyway. Stretch my way over here. Oh, uh, man, this is going to be weird. Because, again, if you, if you have seen this, you're going to recognize it because it's so dang large. Uh, all right. All right, figuring out what to do with all my cord here. So it's just a dress table. Crap, baby. All right, so, uh, I don't know if you can hear that music. Get some gnarly, uh, Fly Me to the Moon, um, Frank Sinatra. Good song. Frank Sinatra, good, good, uh, good guy there. Um... Anyway, uh, so, if you haven't seen my video recently on, um, this little camera here, which, then, uh, go check it out. It's crappy and long and agonizing and whatnot. <coughs> so anyway, this is a 2.4 gigahertz micro camera from, uh, NitroRCX.com, so, pretty cool. Alright, now, um... So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Epic 6x6, uh, you may notice that I have taken off the spare wheels, um, so that's because I'm starting another project, um, and someday I'll show it to you whenever it's done. I don't know when that will be, but anyway, um, I'll start by showing you the vehicle as it is now. Alright, now. Yo, like I said, bulky thing. Very large, largest thing I've ever made. So, still got the good old snow shovel up there. Pop that off. Again, if you haven't seen this, check out the other videos. I mean, I'm sure you can get the gist of what it is here, but if you want to see more of the in-depth stuff, like uh, the functions of it, like how the, uh, how the steering works and whatnot, uh, and uh, the drive system, fake engine, all the details like the gas can, the shovel, the claw, and all that, you know, that's cool. Um, go check out the videos. Alright, so, uh, just this will be the very last of all the videos I post on this vehicle because I will need to take it apart for my next project. So, check out the epicness, it's pretty sweet, pretty awesome, and um, I'm not going to be showing you anything that I've already showed you before, I don't think, for the most part. Um, so, here we are, six-wheel drive, uh, front-wheel steering. Um, oh, what can I say about this thing? Um, six-wheel drive, two-wheel steering, four-wheel independent suspension, um, two-wheel dependent suspension, um, two-wheel um, independent with uh, shock absorbers uh, for the independent suspension. Um, two wheels pendular suspension and as I said uh, two wheels or one axle is the primary axle and therefore dependent suspension and that would be this here there is no other suspension here this is this is all where the suspension is in, in on the uh, front axle so uh, yeah um, get out of here you stupid cord um, anyway so yeah turntable there as well as shock absorbers for upward movement. You can see this here has pendular stuff too. But, of course, as I said, I'm not here to show you the old stuff. For the most part, I'm here to show you the new stuff. So, you will see this little attachment. Slides out. Place it right there. And you will see this. Also an attachment, of course. I will put that right there, I guess. Um, this here, you may recognize this. In fact, you will probably recognize this. Pop these tabs off and lift it off the pegs here and here. And you will see that it is the good old claw with the uh, 
springs in them for the uh, grip and all that. So as I said, if you haven't, if you don't recognize that, go see the other video. You know, go watch it, check it out, whatever. Uh, as I showed you the snow chains, I'm, you know, considering I said I wasn't going to show you anything that's old, I'm doing a lot of that. But anyway, um, I might as well just continue that then, but not, not in depth really. Uh, yellow panels, two receivers here, fake engine under this compartment, check out the other videos to see that. The gas can here, nice and detailing, we've got a good bumper on the back with a lot of indicator lights, a lot of brake lights, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, removable snow chains as I said for the front and rear tires, no weight front tires only. Um, arc cage because it's based on nature and uh, the sphere is nature's strongest thing and the arc is often a large portion of the sphere. Um, the spare tires would be held on on the roof right up here by these four chains which would be probably, you know pulled out like this over the tire in like a triad still but whatever uh, anyway um, on the other side here you can see there are antennas on it two of them now not just one uh, on the other side here you know, see gas can still this is where the uh, spare tire used to be mounted it was a unimog tire those spares were um, I only have eight tires of this size, uh, four of which are Unimog tires, four of which are from the old off-roader set, not actually the old version, the newer version, um, the extreme off-roader. So, that's cool, that's new, that's what's up. But, why did I start by showing you the camera? Well, quite obviously, I think you can figure out why that is based on the fact that this is the LEGO 6x6 video and it will probably say something about it in the description or more likely in the video. So, if I angle this around, put under the tire to get a little more leeway there, uh, yeah, then you'll see, as I said, this little attachment here and this equally unimpressive little attachment here. But, here's the cool part, alright? This is not intended to be awesome. This is intended to be an amateur thing. So let me show you how it works. All right, we take the camera out like so, and what we do next is we, oops, we uh, pull off this little portion of the attachment, and we pull off this little portion right here. And if I can, which I probably won't be able to do very easily, I will attempt to put the camera into it because that is exactly what this thing is. It is a camera mount. Now then, uh, it's approximately three studs by three studs by four studs and uh, well actually it's three studs by four studs by four studs really. But anyway, um, shoo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, you put this little thing on there then you, yeah I'm not gonna bother showing you because I'm sure you can all extrapolate on uh, the appearance of the camera as well as the appearance of this little cage I've designed here. Uh, it's a crappy little cage, but you know, whatever. Crappy stuff works too, so. Um, all I'm doing is just showing you the, the attachment. So, that's just because this is the last attachment I had ever made for the vehicle. Um, and it's the last that actually I ever will make. So, yeah, quite interesting. So then we take this part and we take this part and we put them together. And they make babies. No, they don't. However, that would be a quite interesting technology, wouldn't you say? Uh, actually, it's an interesting topic, but I won't get into that now. But anyway, um, so that's the camera. That is the rig there. Uh, you'll notice it has an axle coming out of the back and a pin up here on top, as well as another pin up here. I will show you what all that is for simply by doing this. This here, turn upward. In fact, speaking of upward the camera upward a little so that you can see a little bit more of this when I'm doing it. Come on now, quit moving you stupid camera. Ha ah, ah, interesting. Alright, now then you put the standard pin in, take the roof pin off, or the camera housing pin off, push the holding pin in, and put the rotation limiter on the top, and then plug it the 9 volt into the camera and we assuming I can do this we place it inside the cab of the vehicle come on now don't you be troublesome and it fits somewhat nicely in here not really but uh, that's really all it does so in the future I will have a little video segment for you from this camera but I don't have anything hooked up to it quite yet and I haven't done anything like that recently 
Now then, if I turn it on, you will see that it does function. You'll notice this little spinning thing that means nothing. That's simply a spacer. So, uh, yeah, this gives a nice kind of first-person perspective for the vehicle, and I'm sorry that I'm not able to show you that third-person. First-person perspective. Good gravy. This here would be third person. Now, you will notice that it is stopping. That is because inside of this, you will notice over here, there is a clutch gear. That clutch gear is because I only need the camera to be able to move so much, and I don't want to bust up my gears, and I don't need to bust up any other parts while I'm at it, including this new camera. Even though it was only 26 bucks, I don't want to bust it up already. So, um, that's cool. That's the attachment. Uh, simple, really, really, really simple. Just a little rotating camera rig for a uh, first-person perspective for uh, driving. Um, and it's movable. And this camera, if you didn't know, 2.4 gigahertz live feed. So, uh, meanwhile, you know, midst of off-road, you know, trial races or whatever you'd like to call them, uh, you can get a good first-person perspective from the vehicle in case you would like to know whether or not it looks like too steep of an angle or whether or not it's something you should worry about at all, you could consider something similar to this. Because in the end, it won't cost you a lot of money. However, of course, that's up to you. I personally would have preferred to spend that 26 bucks on more Lego parts, but that's just me. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's that. That's the little camera rig. Um, I'm not going to be really keeping this camera rig well assembled, I don't think, because this is the only part I need. I'm not going to keep the actual rig here uh, put together so you know whatever uh, but pretty cool modular system just for easy storage whoops anyway um, so that's cool um, works nicely and yeah uh, like I said if you haven't seen this vehicle uh, check out my other videos on it and uh, you will see that it is indeed quite incredibly uh, advanced as far as I go, if you look at my other videos, you will see exactly what I mean when I say that. What I mean when I say that, I might as well tell you, is that I'm not the best LEGO builder in the world. Excuse me, but of course, no one is perfect. So, don't expect me to be, because you all know I'm not. And that's saying a lot. So, you know. Um, but anyway, as I said, uh, if you haven't seen this vehicle or anything of it, check it out. Uh, well, obviously, at, at, after this point, you will have seen something about it. But anyway, um, oh, yeah, one more thing I didn't mention earlier that's new about this vehicle. The exhaust was moved. That was in order to allow these here wheels with this nice pendular suspension to work a lot more appropriately. When the claw accessory here was attached, which in this situation it would be. So that just gives it a good amount of movement. I'm sure you can't see that from there, but I really don't mind much. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the vehicle. Right here, just a quick little 360 degree view. Maybe, I don't know how that will work out, because I haven't tried to do that with anything before. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can back it up with the motors. Yes, we have motion. We have movement. It's very slow, I know. But let's face it, any of you that have seen a trial vehicle, you'll know that it's slow. That's just how they are. Um, unless you have RC motors, then it's quite quick. In which case, this would not be. Alright, so as I said, uh, spare wheels would be there and there. Uh, mounted on here and under these chains. So, that's really cool. Um, nice little plow here. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, as I showed you, it's just a pin to pull off like that, and it slides right out. So, little 360 degree view on that, kind of. Not really. Um, you know, pretty neat little thing there. Again, this is all custom stuff. I did not use instructions for any of this. This is based on concepts in my own head. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's that. Like I said, this little pin here is the thing that would be holding it on to this little hole there and uh, that's cool uh, pulleys with the little winch running through it winch held in quite nicely by uh, whatever that is uh, those little side walls so that's that's pretty nifty little thing there and uh, wrong control alright well then this is really not turning out quite too well now is it 
Eh, yeah, that's just because the winch is so dang slow, but it's got enough horsepower to lift the thing. In fact, uh, if you've seen the other videos, you'll remember that I did tell you that when I was at Dark Raven RO2's house, it did indeed fall from a high up location. It was about three or four feet up, and uh, nothing broke except for the string of the winch. So it's a good powerful winch, it's just a string problem because I don't want to use metal wire and chop up my parts. All right, so we'll move along here. Do, 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 do. The nice cab there, quite intense looking, and of course, if you have known, we do have some headlights, and we do have a running motor and engine, so to speak. So that's pretty neat. Um, I was going to put a little Lego Technic figure in there with his uh, seat, but I decided against it uh, because I didn't have room. So, you know. All right. I'm sorry, my, cam my camera here is, is wired, so I can only go so far. But, you know, it doesn't look that bad, does it? Probably does. I don't know what you think. Anyway. I'm a horrible cameraman, believe me, I know. I'm no expert when it comes to this stuff. Hey, look, it's me. Hey, me. Anyway, uh, moving along to the vehicle again. Oh, extension cord limits. I'm not actually using the extension cord right now. I probably could, but I'm not. So, you know, yeah. Um, Pretty cool, uh, yep, nice. Uh, eight tires in each of those rear wheels. Again, watch the other videos if you haven't, and you'll know what I mean when I talk about stuff like that. Uh, moving Claw reveals to you the other snow chain, snow, better than snow tire, snow chain thing. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, doo -doo. you've already all seen that. Nice fancy bumper thing, stupid enough without a license plate of any sort. Uh, third axle with suspension and all that good stuff. And of course, I can show you the suspension here as well. And perhaps even from this perspective. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, watch the other videos. I know I've said that a bunch of times. Uh, yes, receivers, exhaust pipe. I don't know if that was one of those things I said that I was going to show you that I didn't. Uh, arc brace for the cage there. Nice yellow bodywork because that's the most popular Lego color. Um, yeah, gas can there. Pretty cool with the little rotating valve. It doesn't actually regulate anything, obviously. It's just for appearance and all that. Um, now if I come back around over here, you see this antenna. But that's not the point I want you to look at. Even though it's going to be the most obvious thing, it's this little red pin that I just moved out of the way. And then this little thing here, the engine compartment. And if I have the ability, which I might not, then I will remove it. And you will see a puny little V8 engine pumping away, pistons moving. So that's reasonably cool. Again, uh, just a neat little thing. And uh, yeah, so, you know... Um, yeah, this is my most recent creation, the uh, Epic 6x6, and uh, I would like to thank you for watching, first of all, and second of all, I would like to suggest that you uh, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff, and, um, you know, everybody says that's good stuff, because for them it is, but for me, I really don't care what you do, in fact, I'd prefer if you don't subscribe, because that then I feel obligated to post more videos. Which I don't like. I don't like posting videos. You you all know that, any of you that are subscribed. So, sorry again for the long video. We are approaching uh, about 20 minutes right now. So, I guess, in conclusion, last thing I'll show you is my, uh, my um, ac accessories lined up. And then, 
that'll be it for me and then I'll go disassemble this thing and start working on my next project um, so yeah these are the accessories here we got the camera mount moves left and right and in no other direction we have the claw which opens and closes and features spring style grips uh, grips and or not grips man uh, spring style clutch grip uh, system there on the back as you can see with all the springs two on each side makes four of course is all you know um, so that's cool and of course the shovel um, quite large goes up and down no other direction of course as well uh, single control unit in the whole thing um, so that's the accessories that's the vehicle and um, yeah 8878 battery pack for those of you that didn't know and if you want to find out more about the internal structure of this uh, please check my channel and uh, I'm gonna warn you now those videos are about 45 minutes long each so plan to skip through it or uh, endure the pain of boredom so uh, yeah this is Blade Junkie and uh, I'm signing off to go disassemble my uh, my Lego deal here, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Play Junkie, signing off. Bye.